Shutterstock music. Hello students, welcome to the next class. In the last class, what we have discussed, we have discussed about the relatively prime numbers. As I said before, in today's class, we will discuss, we will study about modular arithmetic. Yes. After this lecture, you will be able to understand what are the outcomes. Just I am telling outcomes. After this lecture, you will be able to understand what do you mean by modular arithmetic, understand the concepts of uh, congruences and you people come to know why we need to study modular arithmetic. Yes. So, let us see the definition of uh, modular arithmetic means what do you mean by the modular arithmetic and why we need congruences as yes? we will see that. So, modular arithmetic. What do you mean by modular arithmetic? First question arises in your mind is what is modular arithmetic? Modular arithmetic is what it deals with the system of integers. So, modular arithmetic is a system of arithmetic for integers. And it wrap around after reaching a certain value called modulus. So, here you will be, you will come with the word modulus. So, modular arithmetic means what? It wrap around reaching a certain value called modulus. After reaching certain value, again it start, this is one point. So, after reaching this point, again it starts from 0. Means Suppose sir, consider it starts from 0 and set some p. After p reaching at p, again it starts from 0 only. Even though if you have a q number, we will count it as a 0 only. That is what wrapping around as. Yes? And uh, this modular arithmetic is what? It is a central mathematical concept in cryptography. Mainly, widely, this modular arithmetic is to be used in cryptography. That is why you people are studying modular arithmetic uh, uh, for you. Uh, strongly, this is for uh, computer science people. Why they have kept this syllabus? Because this will be widely used in cryptography. That is why one uh, you must know what you mean by modular arithmetic. And why uh, to study uh, these, uh, uh, these cryptography algorithms, all those are based on the Modular arithmetic only. Yes. So now, as I said, we are going to work in a uh, on a system arithmetic for integers. And what we are going to do? We are going to wrap around the uh, num uh, certain value. After reaching certain point, uh, we are wrap around. So that is called by, as a modulus. Adina navayananta karitivi modulus anta karitivi. Then uh, uh, we will take some one example uh, just why we are dealing with this uh, modular arithmetic. So, because uh, this modular arithmetic is what it is a central mathematical concept for cryptography, this will be widely, widely used in the cryptography algorithm uh, which are based on modular arithmetic. So, to uh, understand this, first one must understand what do you mean by modulus. Modulus and re no. And then no. No. First two. Wrapping around and the head tie then. But what do you mean by that? So that's why I have taken this clock example. This is the best example to understand your modulus. So let us understand this uh, using this. As you people know. So this is wall clock. Uh, uh, how you calculate? Actually, for a day, what we'll do? We'll say there are 24 hours in a day. 24 hours uh, will be calculated for a day. Yes. As a, a day is calculated uh, by 24 hours, whether do you have 24 numbers in this uh, wall clock? Yes. Check. In wall clock, take any wall clock, 
you will have 12 numbers is ಹೌದು ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಗಂಟೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ಗಂಟೆಗಳನ್ನ ನಾವು ವಾಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತೀವ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ನಾವ್ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ನಾಲ್ಕು ನಂಬರ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ನಂಬರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇದ್ದವು ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಅವ್ರ ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ still using 12 numbers only we are able to understand 24 hours isn't it yes you may have that question oh 1 2 3 4 5 6 12 when it comes to 12 or oh, 12 hours as after all after reaching 12 when you reach 12 this is 6 this is 3 this is 9 as yes. when you reach 12 12 hours for this what you we usually call this as one is yes? after reaching one circle reaching 12 when it comes to one it's one pm actually it is 12 adna lena agu kada 13 next to 2 andre 14 15 16 17 is yes? like this is yes? 18 like this alva iga 14 hours andre nam en heltivi 14 hours andre yestadu 14 12 because our maximum number is 12 after reaching 12 again it starts from 1 2 3 4 like this that is what a wrapping adakke nav en anta helta idivi wrapping around after reaching certain value anta helta that is what that is called modulus so we are using the modulus 12 operation in the wall clock yes so what we are doing here we wrap around the operation on these integers integers what our 12 numbers here we have 12 integers represented in the wall clock this is what this is again this wall clock is considered a system at a system of uh, integers uh, arithmetic for integers and here we are wrapping around the after reaching certain value our certain value is what here so for every 12 hours we wrapping around so that is what 12 is modulus so here we consider 13 hours as 1 pm yes so for 1 pm we just doing mod 12 operation on 13 so for 13 pm navin martivi 13 ige 13 mod 12 operation an martta idivi when 13 is divided by 12 yes when 13 is divided by 12 what is your remainder 1 yes this one is called as 1 pm in the same way when 14 is divided by 12 remainder is 2 that is what 2 is the uh, 14 hours means what 2 yes clear 14 mod 12 means 14 divides 12 2 is the reminder so it is 2 pm that's why it is called as 2 pm i hope now things are clear so before seeing some other examples to in understand the in order to understand this concept clearly uh, one must have the question and the question what what is this congruence i am using modulus s next it comes to basically in modular arithmetic or in uh, if you take a cryptography we use congruences as yes? this in modular arithmetic we use congruence instead of equality yes? for congruence and takshna ne nam gain martivi na vili we used to take three lines so one must have question why we must take three lines instead of two lines two lines enana represent madutte equality as yes? the equality 
ಈಗ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಏನ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತ್ರೀ ಲೈನ್ ಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾಕೆ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಈಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ನ ತಗೊಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಒನ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಈಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಫರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಯೂಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ so let us take examples now here you are i'm have written some examples illi one ishta examples anna barididini navige en check madonu antandre yake navu 14 oh, sorry uh, congruence ge three lines anna use martivi equality anna yake use martta illa ant what is the difference between congruence and equality simply simple aga helbekandre ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಏನ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ ಟೂ ಮೋರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಆರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಮೋಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿ ವಾಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ವಾಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಎಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ Uh, in this uh, consent to wall clock already we have checked that uh, when you do the model to model operation 14 hours means what 14 hours is a 2 pm yes 14 mod 12 operation we did so first one so 14 mod 12 andre en aitalli ha madiddenu now adu 2 pm anta torisidvi alva So, 14 more total operation night. So, reminder, you have to do 2 p.m. and we have got a reminder as 2. So, we are do, doing actually is what? We are taking this uh, number 14 and divide this by 12. Then, the reminder, you are, you are getting as 2. That is, the reminder is 2 p.m. Yes? In the wall clock example. Yes? What we did? we divided 14 by 2 s yes. 12 ones so it is remainder is so 14 hours is equal to 2 pm that's how we have calculated so this is with the respect models isn't it it is it clear now we will consider second example 23 congruent 11 mod s yes. 2311 uh, congruent to 11 model again we are taking the mod 12 operation so as i said 23 mod 12 means 12 divides 23 yes 12 divides 23 means what 12 into 1 so remainder is 11 so 23 mod 12 means what 11 so 11 in wall clock example we have considered this 11 pm so now these are with respect to mod 12 when wall already we have discussed this with the clock uh, we will stop this taking model is 12 we will check with the other model is yes? suppose let us take this third one so what is third example it is 33 congruent to 3 mod 10 we are taking model as 10 here is yes? So now we are, we will check whether this is valid congruent. Valid congruent and then, that is not valid congruent and then, it is true with the answer. Means, when you divide 33 by 10, whether you are getting 3 as a reminder and the artha adhan. So 10 into 3, 30, demand rain bans 3. This, so, illi 3 be there, this illi and bariti be there, demand rain bans 3. It's already, definitionally starting at so here it is so this is 3 so means what s yes, this congruence is true 33 more uh, congruent to 3 more 10 next one fourth one n is congruent to minus 2 more the 10 yes. uh, So we take this actually this will be uh, this should be minus 2 mod 12 
because uh, this will be invalid. If you take mod 10, this will be invalid. The 12 one that I just uh, there is a typographical error here. So move 12. Then how did you get this? Again, 12 divides 10. So since since this is smaller than this, that's why. What will you get? 10 only. Yes. Or else. Or else. Let's take this reminder here. What it becomes? Minus 2 means what? 10 plus 2. So it becomes 12 only. Yes. Both are same. You can write. This can be written as 10 congruent to 10 mod 10 actually 12 reminder num gain one to 10 one to now even very big when you apply this revision 10 congruent to 10 mod 12 yes reminder is one really this one is small but now in very we instead of 10 we have written minus 2 so minus 2 by the same yeah here both are equal here both are same here because when you add these two, 10 plus 2, not 12, and 12, 12, when you divide this, so you get a remainder as a 0 only, yes, so both are same, so this is a valid congruent, yes, anything minus, minus 2 plus 12 equal to 10, 10 plus 2 equal to 12, so both are Perfect. Yes, you can take any value. Means what? A is congruent to B mod M. Nrenartha M divides A. It is quotient other Let us take some K. Answer remainder B. But Andre, I mean, A is equal to M K plus B. This is our Divisional algorithm. Division algorithm. So now, hope you understood why I have defined in uh, first class that division, divisibility, division algorithm, Euclid's algorithm. Because all concepts we must need by for defining the congruences. Nimage divisibility ko tirbeko, division algorithm ko tirbeko, Euclid's algorithm ko tirbeko to define congruences. So other salvagiri na niin mar. First class, I will have concepts and explain about it. Now, actually, I will discuss what is the thing, what thing we need. We are discussing why we are using the symbol, this symbol instead of this. That's why we are using this. Equality with the Nyakmanta division. So, let's take, consider this example. First, 33, uh, this one, third example, 33 congruent to 3 mod 10. So, uh, you may ask whether it is compulsorily, uh, it, uh, it must be 33 only, Yavaglu 33 ne to get con uh, 3 mod 10. No, in place of 33, you may write, yes, you may write 23, and 23 divided by 10. The remainder again, you will get 3 only. as yes. this only this is not true. This is also true. If you replace 33 by 23, this is also true. If you replace this by 43, if you replace this by 53, for everything, you will get 3 more 10 only. as yes. so, this is it is not necessary that you should get the same number always in this place. Yes. Remainder same baru anta ho. Yaude number lidro nu. Yello equivalent. Ekonda yello same hai. You this number can vary. But this number remainder alkala same hai. If you change the number. Similarly, you can check this first one. First one fourteen mod twelve hai. Yalla fourteen mod twelve hai na. Instead of fourteen, is congruent to two mod twelve hai. Yalla yes. Adhen na na fourteen hai na. It is not necessary compulsory. You have 14. If I write 26, again, when you divide the, uh, this uh, by 12, 26 and a 12 divide you will get a reminder as yes. If you replace 14 by 26, then also it is valid congruent. 
ಬರ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂನೇ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಈ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾವೆ ಬಟ್ ಇದು ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲವೂ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಎಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಟೆನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರುವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರುವೆಂಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಮಾಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರುವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಮಾಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಸೇಮ್ ಬಟ್ why both are same because uh, here the remainder you are getting as 10 remainder you are getting as 10 so and also 12 minus 2 is 10 so you can write 10 or minus 2 both are same in modulus so with respect to modulus so and especially modulus 12 ge yes now 12 no tagota idini 12 ge so both are same under under modulo under modulo yes. but according to our normal mathematics so according to mathematics either they are same no according to mathematics they are not same according to your model as when you consider with respect to model 12 both 10 and minus 12 are same means what 10 equal to minus 12 anta artha but according to your normal mathematics 10 is not equal to minus 12 minus 2 that's why in modular arithmetic we are considering modulus means we are stopping with the some at reaching certain point we are stopping and we again we are restarting so we are giving some uh, restrictions here so some that is called what modulus yes so that's why since we are using modulus that's why we are using congruences because we are not saying numbers the integers what we are using here uh, we are they are not equal but they are equal they are considered to be equal under modulus that's why we are using this congruences this symbol is yes? understood hope you people now understood what you mean by congruence congruence is what it is wrap around after reaching certain value called modulus the modulus is important here congruence is modulus so modular arithmetic is what it is a system of arithmetic for integers and wrapping around after reaching a certain value called modulus this is and also now you understood why we people are using congruence yes so now we will check some valid and invalid congruences what do you mean by valid and invalid congruences yes valid and invalid congruence andre you know ಏನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅದು ಟ್ರೂ ಇದೆಯೋ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಅಂತ ಅದು ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಇಲ್ವೋ ಅಂತ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ನಾನು ಈಗ ಹೇಳಿದ್ನಲ್ಲ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಇದೆ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಯೋ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋದು ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಮಾಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ಸಿ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಏನು ಎ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮಾಡ್ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಡಿವೈಡ್ a minus b alva iga ill enide 45 minus 3 enayitu 42 so yes 4 divides 42 agbeku whether 4 divides 42 when 4 divides 42 whether you are getting 
three as a reminder. Yes, that is what. So, four divides forty five. Madaga. When four divides forty five, you should get a reminder as three. Or else, you can say four divides forty two. Forty five minus three. Four na forty two na four divide. Madatta complete agi reminder zero baratta no. Ila. So four not divides forty two. So this is what six invalid. Invalid problems. Yes. Let us take one more example. Yes. Minus one twenty four is congruent to minus one seventy two more one. Yes. This matter minus one twenty four plus one seventy two minus one twenty four. Yes. In negative two. Minus one twenty four plus one seventy two hundred forty eight. Now, whether twelve divides forty eight? Yes, of course, yes. it divides. That's why it is true. So once it is true, right? You can say it's a valid congruence. Iden valid congruence. Andre no? Iden koti darla adu true ida. Valid congruence andre no? Kotan ta valid idu true ida. That is this is. अंदर 256 Now check whether seventeen divides two fifty five. Yes, of course, seventeen divides two fifty five. It's true. So it is. That's why it is also a valid. Whenever if you are given with the check whether the given congruences are valid or invalid, then this is the procedure how to check whether the given con uh, congruence is valid invalid. Yes, let me just uh, one sala recap. Marti nila no in madi dvi batan to just in this class today's class you people uh, came to know what do you mean by modular arithmetic? It is a a system of arithmetic for integers and the wrapping around of reaching a certain value called modulus and mainly widely the used in cryptography to write the algorithms in the cryptography. Yes. And one more thing, you understood why we are using congruence instead of equality in the modular arithmetic. Right? Yes? Uh, the best example for modulus, easy daily life example is what? What you have understood? That is what? Oh, uh, 12 o'clock example. So, it modulus is 12 here. We will consider 12 best lifetime example. Lo modulus atta mar kola kani 12 wo. Oh, this 12 o'clock. Our next, next end would be now. Ah, uh, a congruence, so that equality, yeah, ki bere bere model arithmetically, that we understood. And next we have checked valid and invalid congruences. Yes. Ah, uh, let us check ah uh, formal definition of congruences. Already you people come to know what do you mean by congruences. Yes. Congruences na andre e no anta already e bagni mukot tai to just adana na mu. Formal definition formally. Hey, brother. Then here is the line. Oh, this A is congruent to B mod M. If then a formal lagi now definitionally bar better. That is what congruence is. definition. Yes, we'll check it. Formal definition of oh uh, this congruence is what. Oh, uh, let M be a positive integer, which is. Greater than one. Compulsory, we have to take m as a greater than one. If you take uh, one, then everything will be divided as. So m be a positive integer, which is greater than one. If a and b are any two integers, then a is said to be congruent to b modulo m. If and only if m divides a minus b. Yes, this is the rule. A is congruent to b modulo m is written as. Uh, a is congruent to b mod m. It is symbolically. This, if a is congruent to b mod m, then 
m divides a minus b. Conversely, if m divides a minus b, then a is congruent to b mod m. Both are same. a is congruent to b mod m. This means what? m divides a minus a, m divides a minus b. Conversely, if m divides a minus b, then a is congruent to b mod m. It's already we have seen example. Modulus there the example sale but it is any x uh, 25 is congruent to 3 mod eleven. According to this 11 m divides a minus b 11 divides 25 minus 3. What is this? 11 divides 22. Yes, this is true. Let us take one more. Minus 69 is congruent to minus 5 mod 16. Yes. So 16 divides minus 69. When you take minus 5 to that side, plus 5. So that is 16 divides minus 64. Yes, this is also true. So these are so examples congruences. So in other words, if m is a positive integer greater than 1 and a and b are any two integers, then a is said to be congruent to b modulo m. If and only if a and b and same remainder when divided by m. So one more thing, when a and b both are divided by m, then the remainder will be same. That is also definition. Yes. This is one thing m divides a minus b or you can say when m divides a, m divides b, r is same. Then also you can say a is congruent to b mod m. This is all congruences. So in the next class, we will solve examples based on this. We will find the solutions for given congruences. Till then, take care. Thank you.